Hello, my name is Jess Sugars from Olympus UK, and today I'm going to walk you through one of my favourite features on our cameras, and that is time lapse photography. What's great with the Olympus system is the whole range of cameras has time lapse photography built into it, from the TG6 to your EM10 Mark IV up to your EM1 Mark III. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this on the EM1 Mark III. What I'd like you to do is pop your camera on and press menu. I'd then like you to scroll up to your shooting menu one and scroll down to where it says interval shooting slash time-lapse photography. Go across, go on, you're now into your time-lapse menu. If you're shooting on an EM1 Mark III you can do 9999 shots but the caveat on that is you can't create the in-camera video so I'm going to shoot it at 999 which is more than enough shots for most things. You then go down from there, you've now got your start wait time, so I'd suggest you put this on maybe 10 seconds, just gives you a moment just to recap your thoughts and make sure that everything's correct. The next option is your creative option, which is your interval length, and generally you want to set this somewhere between 2 and 10 seconds, depending on the aesthetic effect you want from your video, but again, I'm going to walk through this a little bit later in the video. Time lapse movie, pop that on, and then you've got your movie settings. Again, if you're using an EM1 Mark III, you're going to have the options to replay this back at 4K at 30 frames a second. If you're using an EM1 Mark II or a slightly older camera, your 4K is going to be limited to 5 frames a second. Okay, so let's head out into the field and do some time lapse. So my first example is to shoot fast water over a weir, which is a kind of a classic of time lapse photography due to the nature of the volume of the water. So I've shot this shot in two different styles, one with the f-stop wide open at a nice high shutter speed of a couple of thousandth of a second, and then I've changed the aesthetic completely by dropping the RSO right low to then give me the ability to shoot about eighth of a second, and as you can see the aesthetic is completely different with a two second interval set on this shot. My second example of time lapse is another classic which is clouds. So I moved to Bosom on the coast where there's a nice strong southwesterly wind and set up my camera to shoot some time lapse. I initially started at 3 frame intervals using the standard 12 to 100. I then moved to 6 second interval and obviously as you can see the cloud speed has increased but I found that the shot wasn't quite dramatic enough so I then switched to a 7 to 14 and moved my location slightly further along. I then upped it to 10 frames a second which now I feel for this shot is probably the sweet spot and it was looking pretty good. I then just moved a little bit further along put it into black and white and I feel like this is probably my final time lapse of the day. You can also get very creative using time lapses by using some of the in-camera effects. So here's a couple of examples where I've shot the weir using keyline in the art filters, again using a slow and a fast shutter speed, and then I've also switched to pinhole, which again at a slow and a fast shutter speed gives you a different aesthetic. But play around and get creative. Thank you everyone for your time today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learnt a little bit about time lapse and I look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe everyone. Bye.